It's One Piece time! Hello and welcome to another figure view. Today we're going to have a look at a big brown box. Actually, this is not the box. I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is the, uh, how it comes. It's the Mega House item number, blah, 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 blah. The Portrait of Pirates Limited Edition carrot with that stuff. I don't know why that would be interesting, but I kind of wanted to show this to you. Like, there's, there's all kinds of information stuff. Call this number if you have a problem with anything like that. I don't know. Now here we have the actual box of the actual figure, and yeah, my Portrait of Pirates One Piece collection is pretty small, and I only have a select couple of figures that I pick up. And I haven't picked up one in a long time, but yeah, Carrot just kind of showed up and was like, I love this character. She's so sweet in so many ways, so funny, so kawaii, I had to get it, so let's have a look at it. Well, this is cute. Let's have a look at size. She stands at about 22 and a half centimeters if you're going to the top of the head. If we're going all the way up to the ears, that would be 25. So for your inches, that's 8.8, 8.7, 8.8 inches tall and 10 inches to the top of the head. Well, to the top of the ear, really, the highest part. And I completely ram into my tripod. Look at the figure. I want to have a look at the face sculpt first. It looks very nice, kawaii this. She's blushing, and the one thing that really sticks out to me is the overall paint job. Well, the overall paint they used, the plastic, color plastic they used for the skin tone. Holy crap, I finally got it out. But yeah, it's like a lightish pink, and it looks kind of humanoid, but also kind of not. So I love it, I'm a big fan of it. And then the hair sculpt. It is nice and wavy, there's a lot of detail in it, all the strains going down, especially in the back. Really, that's that's how you can tell. Like, Mega House, a little bit more expensive, but I don't really mind from time to time to get one of those, to just get them. That's the difference between a high quality figure and a lower, cheaper figure, stuff like that, you don't really see it. Also, it is nice and sturdy plastic overall, although the bunny ears are a bit more rubbery, as you can tell, so... Wow, that's actually kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. I guess to uh, to protect them from breaking. That's a cool idea. And it doesn't stand out. Like it, I didn't even notice that it was a little bit more rubbery material. So I don't hate it. Got a tons of molded detail in the bunny ears. I want to look at the hands because she has painted fingernails. Very nice and shiny. Got another part for the hands, which we'll have a look at in a second. There is the boobage. Actually, let me look at the back. There's a nice detail in it also. Some wrinkles in the outfit. And yeah, back to the tick bitties. They're there. Don't worry about it. And also the big bushy tail. It's beautiful. I love it. It looks like cream or something. I don't know. I want to eat it. Eat it. <laughs> I don't. Okay, let's calm down everybody. And we got the nice ribbon in front. Also the paint job, as you can tell, there's not really any issues with it. I, that's like, it's a statue. You don't have to worry about articulation and whatnot. So I really expect them to deliver on the paint. It is nice and shiny for the white, the black part, the black line that goes down. And then you got like just a green, lime green plastic that goes throughout the dress. It's nice uh, in, in difference. You know, you have a more plain, green and the orange and then the shiny white and the black line which really radiates and the darker green for her tiny 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 skirt and it's ponzu time there's a butt under there with a white ponzu obviously uh the skirt does not do a good job of hiding the ponzu it is right there you can share it and there you go with that that's the fan service part out of the way click like and subscribe for that, if you like Ponzu time, by the way. And then we got the shoes. Orange, nice and shiny, really, with the light radiating off of it. And down to her base, also. Uh, the one thing, I almost let her fall there, don't do that. The one thing with the base, on one hand it looks cool, there's some detail in it. It obviously looks like a piece of wood, and she's standing on it. Also, she's standing on it very tightly. There's no issue with stability, and all the lines over here. I actually molded in. It's not just painted on there, it's molded, so I actually took a lot of time. With that base, also like uh, with the paint job, you know, there's like a little bit of shading that goes around the edges. But like the thing I'm saying, 
It's kind of weird, like, okay, I haven't bought any Portrait of Pirates figures in a long time, and they always used to have the same hexagonal base with, like, One Piece, Strong World, or whatever on it. So, to have Carrot now with something that looks completely different is a bit of a bummer. Like, it, it, it just kind of takes away from the rest of my collection, whereas she has her own... Well, she's unique, I guess. Give her that. So then, as far as accessory goes, we have her paws, which uh, are very nicely painted. They have like a light blue shading that goes around it. So give it a wonderful look, and obviously the molding on it is fantastic. You have the tiny, tiny claws on it. And how do you put this on? Well, just kind of take it apart over here. That's unfortunately where you see the seams. But it's kind of hidden fairly well, but overall, just open it. Slide a hand in there and close it down. I'll do that right now for your final thoughts. And here you have the complete version with the paws connected. They all have a little bit of wiggle room, but they do stay on. But, you know, as far as articulation goes, you can still wiggle this a little bit around. Not really articulation, but still, uh, just, you know, taking that into account. Final thoughts for this figure. I love this figure. It's beautiful. I love also the pose, didn't really talk about the pose. It's like a nice, happy, just an energetic pose, which fits so well with the character. She has a nice smile and the blushing blushing on the uh, on the cheeks, and it's just like I, I don't yeah, I, I can't I can't think of what I would want more out of this. The paint job is exquisite, the base is very nice, and uh, plastic use is also High quality stuff as I'm used for Mega House, and yeah! Also, there's not really that many carrot figures. I, I was looking at it and I was like, huh. Uh, on, on top of it, this one is like limited edition, blah, 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 blah. Probably not gonna get that for so long. I had to buy this one on, uh, well, I had. I bought it on Big Bad Toy Store because Ami Ami did not even sell this one, and that's probably because, like, it's a. It's a Mega House exclusive, online store exclusive, or whatnot. Those those things usually don't show up on uh, Ami Ami. But you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store, and I do recommend it! So if you want it, you know where to get it. Don't ask me in the comments. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more favorite reviews, card game stuff, and whatever. Carrot. Once. Nothing. It's perfect. It's absolutely freaking beautiful. Mwah.